One of the learning objectives in this lab is modular testing. So rather than jump all the way to the end and push the grade button, what we're going to do is debug each module step by step. So after you've written your A to D initialization and after you've written your function that will invoke the A to D converter and convert the analog to digital value, what I want you to do is test that operation. So I'm going to show you how to debug those two. So I've written those two and I'm going to use this very, very simple main program uh, that initializes and then converts over and over again. So let's debug. Okay. So once in the simulator, uh, I want to look at the A to D window here. And so uh, in this window here, I'm going to set the parameter to the connection for which I hooked it up. Uh, and down here is the slide pot that I can move left and right. Okay. Uh, in order to see what's going on, uh, we're going to open a view window, or watch window right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to watch the uh, ADC data. Right here, ADC uh, data. Enter. Okay. So we're going to look at the variable which will contain the result of the A to D converter as it runs. All right, so let's run this. Okay. And the idea here is here's their slide pot, which goes from uh, left to right and back again. Right here is the voltage at that point, And over here, we see the A to D converter value. And so we can either look at it in hexadecimal or we can look at it in decimal. And so, in order to debug this function, what I want to see is a relationship between this voltage here and the A to D number there. So, for instance, if I go all the way to 3.3 volts, I get 4,095. If I go about halfway in the middle, I see I'm about halfway in the middle in my value. So again, the idea is to correlate the voltage uh, as seen at the input of the A to D converter to the number. And so now I'm pretty confident my A to D is working. And I'll go on to the next step. That's how it works.